Oh hey, it's me, Mrs B. Are you ready to use conjunctions to make your sentences even better? And maybe even have a go at some silly sentences? I thought you would. Let's get ready to smile and learn. So we're ready to use conjunctions to make our writing even better. Who knows what a conjunction is? That's right, it's a word that we use to join a clause and a phrase. Can you think of some examples? Pardon? And, yes, that's one. That's quite a simple one that we use in Key Stage 1. Can you think of any more if you're in Key Stage 2? Because, but, that's right. Miss B, do you know any? Yeah. Oh, that's a good one, yet. So we're going to remember all these conjunctions and we're going to try and use some of those in our sentences. Remember, we can make them really silly or we can keep them really sensible. Let's start. What we've done is we've already got some sentences that are written out and we've put them in our bowl. Or you could use a cup, jar, beaker, whatever. I'm going to finish folding the sentences to put in here ready for our activity. So for this activity, you can do this on your own or with a partner, parent, sibling, grandparent, whoever you wish. I think I need a helping hand today. Ah, helping hand, there you are. You're not going to be very good at this game though because you can't reach the sentence to fetch it out of the pot. I wonder if there's anybody else. Ah, Miss B, would you like to join us? Yes. Would you like to take a sentence from the pot? While you look at that sentence, or are you going to pass it to me? Yeah. I am going to get a piece of paper and my coloured pen to write down my sentence. Let's have a look at what it is. Do, 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 drum roll. Whoa, she hates me. That's quite a bold statement, isn't it? She hates me. Could be a sentence on its own, but this activity is using conjunction. So we need a conjunction to join something to this sentence. Has anybody got an idea out there? Me. Miss B, what's your idea? Yet. Yet. She hates me yet. She hates me yet. Let me write that down. She, I need a capital letter at the start of my sentence. She hates me yet. Can you finish that sentence, children? She hates me yet. She likes to ride her bike. Does that make sense? She I hates know. me yet. Oh, Miss B again. She's on fire today. She's on fire. Miss B. Yet she used to be my friend. Oh, okay. Because that tells me that you've had a falling out. She hates me yet. She used to be my friend and does anybody know what we need at the end of a sentence can you think children let us know if you do miss b testing your knowledge today full stop oh good action for a full stop well done okay so that's the rest hold on oh what is it now miss b you've missed out some punctuation <gasps> no i haven't yes you what have i missed do you think the helping hand will point oh where something it... missing here helping hand yes what do we think needs to go here children is it a comma oh let's put a comma and see if that makes sense she hates me comma yet she used to be my friend I think that makes sense, doesn't it, children? Well done, Miss B. Spotting that, that comma separates the clause. Let's do another sentence. Okay, Miss B, you're going to pick another sentence today? Yes. Um, I'll choose this one. This one. Okay, thank Fifth you. Minute. We're ready. Who can read it with me? The donkey whistles... That's a funny sentence, isn't it? The donkey whistles. Let's write it down. The donkey whistles. Don't you forget your punctuation. Sorry. Oh, yes. Most important comment. The donkey whistles. Can you think, children? Pause now. So 
Willow, did you think of a really good sentence using a conjunction, boys and girls? We've got a really good one. I wonder if yours is as silly as ours. We're going to use if. The donkey whistles. If. I'm thinking of a donkey on a farm. What other animals live on a farm, Miss B? Pigs. Pig. The donkey whistles if the pig pulls his ears. <laughs> Full stop. Did we like that sentence, everybody? So I'm sure you can see how that game works. So we hope you enjoyed our activity using conjunctions today to make your sentences even better. And if you've made a really silly sentence, we'd love to hear it in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share if you've enjoyed today. And we'd like to give a shout to Class of 2018 Tutoring who featured our channel on their Facebook page today. Also, check out their link in the description below. Thanks everybody. It's bye from Mrs B and it's bye from... There she is, Miss B. Don't forget to smile and learn.